hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP using PDO objects how to search records dynamically from MySQL PHP my admin database and here we got the final output let's search for the employee Charan search employee see here we got the employee ID 1 last name K and the email ID is charangmail.com Let's set the Peter record such employee. The employee ID of the Peter is 6. The last name is brick pb at gmail.com. See brick pb at gmail.com. For example, if I type something which the employee name is not exist in this table, such employee. See here we got a message sorry, records are not found. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Now in this Notepad++, just for the time saving, I have already created the designing part, which contains in this HTML code H1 and H2 header tags, the text box control for the search AMP name, employee name and button control. And in the table, I want to display the employee details. Before writing the PHP code, first we'll check the basic output on the browser. And here we got the output of the code, which contains right now the header tags, one text box control, and button control. And below is the table, which I want to display the employee details. Now my aim is, when I type for the employee record for example charan and i click search employee i want to display the employee charan details here in this table using php and pdb objects before writing the coding part in php first we'll check the table and the column name in mysql php my admin database and the table name i'm using the employee table right now it's showing 24 records so I'm using the first name to search the employee details and EMP ID, last name and email I want to display in this table. Let's write the coding part. Now the first thing in this, the form, I'm adding method is equals to post. After that, in the above HTML, I'm adding PHP code php inside this php first thing i'm declaring the variables dollar first name is equals to empty dollar last name dollar the next column name is emp id and email let's add those ones MP ID. Let's put this one at the top. Dollar email. After adding the text box variables, if is set dollar underscore post. Inside this post, but in single quotes, I'm adding the button control name find and the next step I'm declaring the connection string variables dollar host name is equals to localhost dollar db name, which is my database name. My database name is sample db. Let's add that one. Dollar username, which is root. The last one, I'm adding the password. Notice here the password is empty. I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin. If you have any password, please enter that one. So that I'm declaring the connection variable new PDO which takes a first one 
my sql between double quotes my sql put in a small letters my sql colon host is equals to dollar host name copy this one and paste here semicolon db name is equals to dollar db name comma the next one is a username dollar username comma the last one is a password after adding the connection string variables now I'm posting the employee name first name to search the records so dollar first name is equals to dollar underscore post between single quotes I am adding the text box input type first name dollar SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is the employee where I want to search records with the column name first name let's add that one first name is equals to column first name now once the records are found I want to display a result con I'm using prepare method I'm adding a SQL query object then execute record is equals to dollar result execute method array colon first name this variable is equals to dollar first name if dollar execute record now in this if condition I am adding the functionality if the records are found I want to display that bind those data into the HTML table here or if the records are not found I want to display the message the records are not found so for that I am using another if condition dollar result a row count method is greater than zero which means the records are found for each loop dollar result as dollar rows dollar row is an object dollar the column name is emp id is equals to dollar row between single quotes the column name is a emp id semicolon dollar first name is equals to dollar row between single quotes i'm adding the column name this one first name last one an email let's add those all first name semicolon dollar last name is equals to dollar row last name dollar email is equals to dollar row with the single quotes I'm adding email else not here else part echo sorry records that's it we have written the code to search the employee details now let's bind this row emp id here in this table php echo 
EM pad. We don't require this dollar EM pad. Semicolon. The next one is the last name. Last one is the email. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Oh, here is. Let's save this file. We check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. Oops, here we got an error. Line number 20. Oh, here we need to add this one. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser again and here we got the final output let's search for the employee Charan search employee see here we got the employee ID 1 last name K and the email ID is charangmail.com let's set the Peter record search employee the employee ID of the Peter is 6 the last name is brick pb at gmail.com see pb at gmail.com for example if I type something which the employee name is not exist in this table such employee see here we got a message sorry records are not found that's it